Hello everyone, it's Zara P. Forbes here. I'm really excited about sharing today's little words to feed the soul because it's something that I've been contemplating a bit the last 24 hours or so and that's the sensation sometimes that I get of life being a constant driving like a drone ant to, to build and create and work and work. And there really is no objective to that work. It, it is either kept around for a while or it's brought down and added on to by somebody else. There's really no reason for us to be keep striving the way we do. So that's kind of been a little bit of my thoughts lately as I've been delving into the world of the soul of poetry. So really excited to read this to you today and um, today's poem is written by John Milton. Now it does have a, it does speak of God um, of which I won't be addressing. I'm looking at this in a very broad sense of what it had to say. John Milton lived in the time of 1608 to 1674. Um, so you have to understand the time in which it was written. It's called On His Blindness. Let's do it. When I consider how my light is spent, ere half my days in this dark world and wide, and that one talent which is death to hide lodged with me useless though my soul more bent to serve there with my maker and present my true account lest he returning chide doth God exact labour day labour like desire denied I finally ask but patience to prevent that murmur soon replies God doth not need either man's work or his own gifts who best bear his mild joke they serve him best his state is kingly thousands at his building bidding speed and post o land and ocean without rest they also serve who only stand and wait um, how I see that is he's saying that I'm look at my light that I have, this life that I've given, this certain amount of light to shine for this small amount of time. And we only have so much light to give and we spend half of it asleep and the other half we spend in labor of some day, we're day laborers and our light is given away either in darkness or to other people. And, you know, asking, you know, why does God exact this this day labor? Why do I have this demand on me that I have to work during the day and I, I, I can't express my light because I sleep at night? And why are you denying my light? He says, doth God exact day labor, light denied, that I can't get to spend my own light? And it answers, patience returns and says that you don't need he doesn't need your little creations. He is he is lives in this palace of amazing gold and glory, and he doesn't need he doesn't need your little tiny offering. It's okay. Um, don't worry about that. Um, and he has thousands going away, and but these people also serve those who just stand and wait. How wonderful is that, that standing and waiting is an option for us in our life. Sorry, it just astounds me and you, you can hear my being astounded. <laughs> so I, I think that's really quite amazing. Um, I feel that it's answered my feelings of just the constant drudgery and feeling that what's light and beautiful in me is just being worked away. So, you know, um, that and, and why we, we are such drones and that it's okay to just stand and wait. Um, to go a little bit further and explain why I was going through this experience, 
why this is so poignant for me at the moment is I started making a few little notes last night as I was walking along the beach and this and um, I'll just read you a few little words that I wrote last night uh, 7.15 last night 7 billion individuals sharing but one existence 7 billion lenses each one a slightly different shade we tangle ourselves mangle ourselves for what we try to create something in a world with 7 billion artists we undo the work of another soul to cause attention to ourselves we continue to build these castles in the air knowing that they may never be resided in nothing stops us we just drone on performing endless tasks a pointless lifetime endeavor who cares if one places some objects prettily on a table or one crosses the great sahara as far as they are able it's all for naught so having done that i'm just going to finish off by reading the poem one more time and hopefully without my um, gasps of epiphany as i read through it um, i hope you can get something from this on his blindness by john milton when I consider how my light is spent, ere half my days in this dark world and wide, and that one talent which is death to hide lodged with me useless, though my soul more bent, to serve therewith my maker and present my true account, lest he returning chide, doth God exact day labour, light denied? I fondly ask, but patience to prevent that murmur soon replies god does not need either man's work or his own gifts who best bear his mild yoke they serve him best his state is kingly thousands at its bidding speed and posto land and ocean without rest they also serve who only stand and wait so um I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it um, on his blindness by John Milton that um, it's okay it's okay if we are a, a thinker and we don't we feel that that being asked to live our life as a drone is unacceptable and unfair if we are philosophers and poets and lovers and polit politicians if we are we, if we are discovering in a different way other than creating art um, that that's okay because it's all the same it's all for naught anyway so it's all meaningless in that scale of, of things. So it's okay to just stand and rest. That's fine. So I take that as a wonderful permission um, to, to be oneself and to love yourself. Um, and that's what I wish for you. So let me finish. This is Zara P. Fords. You're listening to words that feed your soul. And um, hopefully in that there is something for you to snack on. Bye.